All right, guys, we're now on episode two of playing Until I Lose with a Twist. If you didn't already watch episode one, go check it out. We're on a current win streak of four, and we have four banned loadouts to go with it. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. All right, guys, our first game is against Great Monkey 919. We're on the map Star here, so there's a lot of strategy that can go in Star. I think I'm going to bring Pack, Ice, and Farm, though. This is a really good map. This is a really good strategy for Star, and you can't really use it on many other maps, so that's why I think it's going to be a good pick here because um we can kind of get it out of the way and save the other strategies for later you know what i mean so starting off here with tack ice and farm we definitely want to start with our tack shooter and um probably get a round one open as well looks like they're starting with their druid there so they're probably going druid sub and um druid sub and farm here so that's fair enough that's probably what i'm gonna be facing 90 percent of the time so it's all good it's all good we're used to it and um yeah start with my tack shooter right here and i'll get my open down here soon and i think just a zero zero a zero two zero tack shooter and open should be able to handle early game stuff pretty well here so, we might be able to screen for a farm after that. The nice thing is, um, little known fact that the 0 2 0, the super range attacks, actually add one pierce to every, um, attack that this shoots. So, it's basically double the attack uh, damage. I got a comment on the last video I used with attack shooter, like, Ryan, why don't you just go for a normal attack shooter with zero upgrades? It makes no difference. It actually does make a difference, guys. The super range attacks adds another pierce to it. So, yeah, very important there. So, sending me some green balloons here, it's going to layer over a little bit and force some leakage on my side, but, um, Nothing that I've never dealt with before, so we just tank those, we tank those, and we get a farm down. We'll send them a little bit of a layer here, and get my brambles going, and then also get my um, blade shooter coming in here soon as well. Should be fine. Okay, I think we forced a um, druid upgrade as well. I think they got uh, what's called hard thorns there. If I or I heard I heard an upgrade, I heard an upgrade. I don't know if they actually got hard thorns, but I did hear them buy something. Hopefully, they got hard thorns. Start to upgrade my farm a little bit. He, okay, he's sending me yellow balloons, so I will need to get this blade shooter up here in a second. There we go. Perfect. Now we should be vibing. I'm hoping with this Oban placement that the totem is going to place somewhere in this um, intersection. So then basically the totem will hit the balloons twice on the track. Kind of like my plan with the Oban placement, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Because if you get a good totem with the um, attack shooter, then the attack shooter's effective damage gets a lot better, basically. He's not sending me any white or black balloons, which is great because I haven't gone for a single faster firing upgrade on my attack shooter. So um, we are totally fine here, though. Because he's not sending me the balloons. So, you know, we can just read on here, which is great for me. Now, what's my plan against Druid Sub Farm? Druid Sub Farm um, can deal with uh, grouped ZMGs while my strategy really can't. So, that is a big disadvantage here. Um, so, I think we have to be somewhat aggressive and try limiting their farms so they can't send me a bunch of grouped ZMGs and we'll have a chance there. You know what I'm saying? I think we have to be somewhat aggressive in this matchup. Not too aggressive, but like send some smart rushes. You know what I'm saying? I'll send some smart rushes at them. Alright, these balloons are starting to push a little bit too far, so let's get up to the even faster firing. Should be fine here. Valuable bananas, nice. I'll go for two great banana plantations, because if he rushes me in round 11, all I have to do is just upgrade to a uh, Blade Maelstrom, and it'll be fine. All I gotta do, so. We can go for two plantations here, which is nice. I don't know if they can, though, because they need more defense for round 11 than I do. Because they'll need a Ballistic and a Lightning. Okay, they actually go for it. and eh, they'll probably be fine, actually. It's Druid. Their defense is like $5 for everything, so... They'll probably be fine there. Super cheap defense with that strategy. What I want them to do is their druid to stop having the attack speed buff here in a little bit. Okay, there's our ice tower, by the way. Right. Their druid doesn't have attack speed buff at the moment, so we're going to rush them. Loon boost. They're dead if they don't boost. They're dead if they don't boost. They boosted late. Wait, are they still dead? All right, that's cool. I love it when I see like a million balloons go by and nothing happens. That's just how the game be sometimes, I guess. All right, we're gonna rerush them. Um, we already forced a boost, which is nice. Wait, lag. Okay, we're good. We're good. Balloon boost. They go for double ballistic. Is it good though? Oh, it's actually good. Well done. I didn't need a balloon boost that. I thought a balloon boost would get through t double ballistic there, to be honest. We forced some good defense, though. We forced some good defense. Oh, he sells it. Okay, we're, we're rushing again. You're just going to sell your defense. I'm going to keep rushing you. We forced, the, we forced a farm sell again. Okay, this is good. This is good. Forcing some solid buying and selling on their side. We take that. We'll go for a blade here on my side. I just don't like how much these balloons are pushing. The embrittlement spot's not, like, fully good, so sometimes you just need a little bit extra stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just need a little bit of Dude, he sold his thing again. What are you... Why do you keep selling it? I'm just going to keep aggroing and forcing it again. All 
All right. Target some anti mole brambles on the map as well. Oh, that was a bad placement. All right, we forced it again. Dude. This guy's bought and resold that ballistic so many times this game. It's insane. It's actually insane how many times he's done it. Someone count in the comment section down below how many times this man has bought and resold that. All right, we'll throw some anti mole brambles on the map. He's letting me greed so hard. I only have one embrittlement on the map. Pretty crazy. He's letting me greed very hard, which I'm appreciative of. So there, I don't think there's a point to send him fortified. Uh, no, he has two ballistics with air burst. There's no point to send him mobs or anything here. Especially on this map as well. This map, the um, ballistics are pretty cracked. So we'll let him be. Uh, we'll send him a rush here, though. Because they sold their ballistic again. And we forced it again. Second central market. I should be able to get round 21, I think, for my... Ooh, I don't know if I'll be able to get round 21, actually. Let's see. Hopefully I can. No, I can't. I'm bad at this game. Because I have to get an embrittlement here. Fortunately. We're good. Not even close, to be honest. I wasn't worried for a second there. I wasn't worried for a second. <laughs> oh, why was that so close? I could have I could have ended the video series right there, guys. I could have ended the video series right then and there. Alright, we definitely have an eco lead. And they're down on boosts as well. So, even though... um. We're down in farms. It's not the end of the world here. It's not the end of the world. And the nice thing is I'll be able to make them sell a lot of their stuff for a super storm on round 26. So they will lose a lot of farms then on round 26, which is good for me. Okay, they're only ahead on like a thousand dollars actually. Look at that, because they I they got their um, banana research lead when I had like 15k. They're not even that that much ahead on money, believe it or not. That's great. And we'll get the lead on round 26, guys, because our round 26 defense is much cheaper than theirs. I think these anti mode brambles take care of this. Look at that. anti mode brambles do your thing. We'll get another farm up. Love to see it. If they send me DTs, I can also boost against it. I have three boosts still, which is fantastic. Three boosts is a great spot to be in. Ooh, they're actually making a mistake here by leaving their trees on the map right there as well, because they won't have fresh trees for like two sets of trees for round 26 DTs as well, which we will. It's going to be nice. Okay, force the super storm. We take those. Look at that. They sold their, um, they sold their banana central for that, by the way. They sold their banana central for that. So now we have a really nice farm advantage. Go for a um, crowd cannon in the back, which can be an impale if they send me a big rush. He says good game. I don't know if it's a good game yet, but I don't, well, I don't know if they're saying that in a good way or like a bad way. Like good game, you've played, you're destroying me. You're good game. Like I'm gonna win this. You know what I mean? I don't know what type of good game that is there. All right, if they rush me here, I get up an impale. Oh, he's rushing me for sure. We get impale here. Wait, nope. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I thought he was going to be rushing me, and it was just to get up there central. Oh, I just choked that. Okay. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I thought they are going to all out me. We're still ahead on farms. We're still ahead on farms after that mishap, guys. You know, it's it's fine. It's fine. Wait, they sold everything. Okay, they're sending me ZMG all out. What we do here is we stall, and we um send them DTs. Well, micro stalls. They're going to get overrun. Because they don't have a preemptive. GG's. Alright, cool. I'll catch y'all next one. Let's get it, boys. Let's get it. Alright, you guys can see now we have added Tack Ice and Farm to our list of banned loadouts. Now we're on the map Castle Ruins here, and our next strategy is Dartling Super Farm with Benjamin here. So, um, should be a fun one. I'm bringing Benjamin just because... I feel like we need Benjamin just to help us out with the early game stuff and more and more than Ocean Open will. My opponent looks like they're going Druid there. So Druid's up farm once again. I feel like every most games, like 90% of mine are against the strategy. So it's not any big surprise. It's not any big surprise. But they went with double Druid start. Wait, maybe they aren't going Druid sub farm. Possibly they aren't. Okay, we're stall this round out real quick. Because normally you only go one Druid start with that strategy. So that is intriguing. That is very, very intriguing there. Now are they going to send me spaced greens? Because if they don't, then I won't have to boost. But if they do, they don't have to boost. Also, we should send them space screens just to save up some more money. And we'll get my Benjamin down right about here. Beautiful. Oh, they're sending me space screens. There's, uh, I still got to boost this. Even though I sent them so late, it's just Castle Ruins is um, a hard map. And I really, 
I think if I didn't boost that, I'd probably leak down to like 10 lives. So I'm not going to risk that here. They've actually, okay, they leaked a lot more than they needed to. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at those leaks. Look at those leaks. Down to 38, bro. Man is leaking, leaking. All right. So they could have just a normal uh, Druid Eco strategy, which would be interesting as well. Like Druid Sub Ice or something. I haven't, or Druid Sub Ninja. I haven't seen those strategies in a long time here. So that would be very interesting too. Very, very interesting. But we will have to just wait and see because would they have a place to farm by now if they had farm? I don't know. They would are on the path, like if they would have been able to place a farm at this point. They had farm. Oh, never mind. They, they definitely have an eco strategy if they're going for that already, I'd imagine. Yeah. Because they didn't even need that defense. So they would have. I think they definitely have some sort of druid eco strategy. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough here. Throwing their brambles in the back as well. I like to see it. I like to see it. Start sending them some space balloons. And um, there's semi space gre group greens now. So I'm going to have to upgrade my dartling to um, faster barrel spin here in a little bit. Then we'll be Gucci against these. Uh, do I go for a farm first? I go for farm first because I'm greedy. Because I'm greedy. What I can do is I'll use Benjamin ability and tandem with upgrading this. And then I'll do some extra damage and hopefully eat away at this gr these green balloons. Yeah. Yep, we're good there. We're good there. Get another farm down. Right about there. Oh, let me place it. Right about there. Nice. They're definitely going to send me yellow balloons next round if they have an eco strategy. So... I need to, I'm just going to uh, dartling down preemptively because I want to make sure I'm popping these yells as soon as possible once they come out. Just so then they're going to do a little bit less damage to me. You know what I'm saying? A little bit less damage. Increased production. All right. I use the Benjamin ability as well against these in a little bit. Now we use Benjamin ability. Upgrade this one to faster barrel spin. That should be able to eat away at a ton of these yells. Okay, look at that. Look at that, boys. That's how you do it. Nice. And next thing we do is we go for a third farm. We need to get up our Hydrogapods for round 10 because we don't have um, lead popping power with that, without it. So obviously that'll slow down my farms a little bit, but um, I think we can just go for this third greater production and be fine. They send me region zebras though. I will have to be aware because region zebras are a bit scary with my strategy. Region zebras are a bit scary. Okay, there's normal zebras. Not region though. Oh, there's region. All right. We're good here. We're good. I'm telling you, region zebras are really scary with my strategy. All right. Got that up. Nice. They got their reactor. Well done. Well done. Pretty standard stuff here. We'll get my banana plantation a little bit. So, still don't know if they have ice or um, ninja or whatever. We still do not know that. That is um, unknown. Let's, let's force a um, ballistic real quick. We forced a boost. Okay, that was a tiny rush. We forced a boost. So I'll take it. I'll take it. Are they re-rushing me? Okay. They're rushing me real quick. Use Benjamin's ability. We're going to rush them back. They don't have boost anymore, which is bad for them. That can just rush really hard. And they don't have they don't have money to defend without boost. Yep, they're dead. They're dead. That's a GG. I think that's a six win streak here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, bro. We're on a roll. We're on a roll. Can we make it all the way to 10, ladies and gentlemen. That would be hype. All right, guys. Our next game here is on Dino Graver. We're against, um, I don't know how to pronounce their name, but yeah, we're going the strategy Dartling, NG, Heli, and Oban because that's fantastic on this map. And as you can see, we added Dartling, um, Super and farm to our list of band loadouts. So now we have six band loadouts. So this is going to be a really interesting one because this is one of the second loadout I've played in the series where um, it's not using farm in the loadout. So it's going to be an interesting one. Looks like they're starting with their druid right there. So they're definitely going um, druid, sub, and farm, I guess would be. Druid, sub, and farm would be the um, what I expect here. We're going to start with my dartling right here. And obviously we want to try stolen these rounds out. So I'm going to actually target my dartling downwards like this, as weird as that sounds. Um, it's not going to really be having any balloons to come all the way around. And that's very intentional because we want these rounds to be as long as humanly possible. Well, actually, I don't want to leak lives though with that target. So we're actually gonna pop these a little bit. Get my um, engineer down right here as well. Fair enough. Yeah, we don't want to be leaking too many lives with, with we want to stall the rounds but not die. You know what I'm saying? All right, they're getting their druid leaks in. So well done, well done. And yeah, this will be an interesting one. Now it's gonna be a hard matchup for me because obviously um they won't have to equal into my trap too much since they have farm in their loadout. But I am confident with this loadout. I've used it a ton so. You know, I'm not going to give up that easily, you know what I'm saying? Get oversized nails. I've, I have gotten a lot of practice with this loadout in my days, because this used to be one of the best loadouts in the game, if not the best. It used to be one of the meta strategies, guys. 
Now, Engineer has received some nerfs, and Dartling's received a lot of nerfs since then. Same with Heli as well. So that's why it's not near as good as it used to be, but it's still pretty solid. It's still pretty solid. And just keep saving up here. Now, I could be group decoing at them, but I don't. I think it's better for me just to space deco until I get up my um, balloon trap, and then I'll group deco afterwards. Is the better way to do it, because I want to get that balloon trap as soon as possible, because even if they if they eco into my trap, it's good, because I'll make money from it. And if they don't eco into my trap, it's still decent, because they're going to be making a lot less money, since eco is very important to get early game. So either way, it's like a pretty decent scenario for me. You know what I'm saying? They ended up getting their Druid of Wrath before they got their farm up, so they're playing very safe. They're playing very safe there. Um... All right, what we need two more income boosts, and I'll be able to get up my trap. All right, we need one more income boost, and I'll be able to get it up. There we go, perfect. Got that up. Is he going to continue equaling into the trap? Is the question now. Looks like they're switching over to space deco. Fair enough. That's a decent plan. It's a decent plan of action. I want to get the faster engineering on this as soon as possible as well. Faster engineering is going to make it so then I get these traps coming in as quickly as possible. There we go. Nice. And next thing I want to do is get my Oban down as well, because we still haven't placed our hero, believe it or not. You don't place your hero with this strategy for a while, just because you want to get that trap up as soon as possible. So, we'll get my Oban down here. Oh, I guess not yet. Now we'll get it down. Round 6 Oban. Okay. And then we'll send them a lot of yells this round as well, because we want to force that lightning on their druid. So, we'll send them a lot of yells here. Well, actually, as much as we can really send, because I, I don't have that much eco to send yells. Okay, we force lightning either way, which is great. We did force their lightning, so you'd love to see that. Alright, I'm going to start space decoing though. Um, I may have actually be group decoed way too much here already. I need to be careful, because I, I need to afford that Hydro Rocket Pods on round um 11 here, which is expensive upgrade, so... Alright. Start throwing down my Brambles in the back, though. Okay, they're sending me Black Balloons, which is actually great here, because Black Balloons are going to feed my trap a lot more than the Space Pinks they were just sending me, so... He's actually going to feed me a lot of money here, so I'm very grateful for that. Thank you for sending me Black Balloons, Mr... I don't know how to pronounce your name, dude. <laughs> what is that name? F's? Yeah, I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try. Because I'm going to butcher it so hard. I think I'll be able to forward here. I think I'll be able to forward. Because I'll be able to collect my trap a couple more times. and get a few more income boosts in here. Oh, especially with them sending me zebras, dude. Thank you for the zebra balloons. I'll take that every day of the week. Yeah, one more um, one more trap collected and one more income boost. And I got this. So we're good. They end up going for their ballistic missile as well. Dude, this guy gets up his defense before he even needs it. That Those are the type of uh, people you want to face, though. People get it up before you need. they need it. Because then you don't have to spend money rushing them. You know what I'm saying? He's sending me space rainbows as well. This is going to feed my trap a ton, dude. Oh, this is so good. He's, he's feeding my trap so much, bro. Look at that. It's already made almost $5,000. $5,000 already. I love that. All right, we'll continue equaling. Looks like they're going to continue equaling at me as well. Do I send them a little rush to force another ballistic? I think I do. Just mostly eco balloons in it. But we're going to send a few, like one or two sets of region rainbows just to um spook them a little bit. And they'll probably have to get up defense. We'll send up black balloons. Region Rainbows. Balloon Boost. Oh, no, this guy doesn't budge, bro. He doesn't budge. Well done. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be rushing anyways. The Ballistic and um, Druid on this map are pretty strong. So. It probably wasn't even the smart decision to rush in the first place, but it's okay. We'll, sp we'll eco with Yellow Balloons here and um, get up Helis with the rest of the money. Is the plan there. Eco with Yellows and get up the rest Helis with the rest of the money. He's actually rushing me here. Um, I think I'll have to boost this. Yeah, we boost that and we're fine. He re-rushes, I can get up a, uh, what's called Rocket Storm. Doesn't look like they're interested though, they just wanted to force a boost, fair enough. Fair enough there. You can't really get a region rainbow rush through this defense if you have boost because, um, the trap helps you out a ton for defending it, so. Alright, get our down draft up. Nice. If he sends me mobs, we can actually deal with mobs really well, because all we need to do is pop the mob layer, and then drought, down draft is really good. And it can actually blow back the ceramics so we can eat them in the trap, which is fantastic there. Eat the ceramics in the trap, you know what I'm saying? I think we won't rush them for a while. The next rush I'll probably send is trying to force a super storm on round um, 26. Probably the next thing I'll do with my strategy, but... Until then, I think we just play it passive and chill on. We'll get up. We'll get my support chunks here soon. It's really interesting how they're sending me eco. They've sent me a lot of eco, even though I have balloon trap in my loadout, which is uh weird to say the least. It's kind of odd. You don't really see that too often. Two thousand eco in a, a heli farm. So we're at, we're doing pretty solid on money actually here. We're doing really solid. This trap has maybe ten thousand dollars this game already. That's crazy, dude. Trap has been putting in the freaking work today. All right. Maybe I'll send them a fortified BFB as well. Uh, I don't know if that's a good rush on this map. This map's an easy map to defend on, but... 
I think it will force some defense and maybe slow down. It looks like they're going the Banana Central route here, so maybe slow down their Banana Central a little bit. So I think I'll send it. What I'm actually going to do next is also, I'm going to move my... Oh, I moved that in the wrong spot. Move my Oban all the way down here and tar uh, throw it on some trees as well. Because... Okay, wait. There should be Brambles down over here. Yeah, we're good there. We're good there. Now I can sell that, sell that, and get up some more helis. I'm going to stop ecoing at this point as well. We already have... A decent amount of eco. We can't eco with yellow balloons anymore, so I don't think I'm going to send any more eco. We're also going to bring you back up here. Yeah, we forced three ballistics with that rush, which is great. And a... Oh, and a bowl of lightning, bro. Look how much defense I forced with just one BFB. And a boost as well? Bro. Dude, I forced so much with just one BFB. I take, I take that every day of the week, bro. I take that every day of the week. Are right, he sending me a big rush? Wanna eat up Rocket Storm here? Oh, that was a good rush. That was a good rush. I actually could have just boosted it, dude. I don't know why I didn't boost. Because I sold a heli, which was dumb. Alright, we're good. We're good there. They forced some solid defense on my side, not gonna lie. But we got our trap back up and we're vibing. The next thing I'm going to want to do is I want to get down some trees just to prepare for round 26. Get one tree is waiting on the map empty and then we'll, ha we'll wait with my um, fresh trees ready, basically. Looks like they went for their banana central in round 24, so it's pretty late to get a banana central, to be honest. That's a late banana central guy. Ooh, their tree placement's actually kind of bad as well because their trees are going to get eaten up, filled up from the um, start of the path when the balloons come around. So then the trees are not going to stay empty for DDTs, basically. Which is bad for them. Alright, I think at this point we just start saving up for um DDT defense, because DTs are really expensive with my strategy if it comes down to that. Um if he sends me like a ton. Because I'm gonna get a triple XL. Cleansing form right here as well. Perfect. But yeah, I can defend a lot of DTs with just my um with just my o my Oban trees and my stuff. Go we'll for a mob shove heli. We'll target my trees down there. Alright, he's gonna we'll send them some DTs now. Is to force a super storm here. There we go. Forced it. Look at their farms. Look at their farms, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we love to see. Okay, look at look what we can do here. Look what we can do here. Wait a sec. Throw in new trees. Dude, let's go. Okay, we're in a really good spot. We're in a really good spot. What I'm going to do now is just save up straight up for my, um, save up straight up for my triple XL. We're also going to target at the start here. Just so then it will get ceramics if he does send me ceramics, because I'm scared of ceramics, to be honest. But yeah, they should be screwed here. Their farms are really bad. And our eco is bad, but we have so many heli farms still to rely on, you know? We we lost our eco to, for to sacrifice all their farms, basically, with the DDTs. That was the plan. We lost all of our eco, but they lost all their farms. And we still have heli farms on the map. Okay, they're sending me. Um, I go for an MAD here in a sec. Nice. Use that ability, use that. Target you over there. We shredded that, look at that, look at the shred, look at the shred. Okay, they're all outing me. We defend that dude oh that's funny all right this strategy is still scolded ladies and gentlemen all right that's great i'll catch you in the fourth and final match of today's video let's get it okay guys we have fought, faced someone who's really high on the leaderboards i think i have to burn my druid sub farm here and just try to win but i still might not even win because they're very good um yeah this this has to be the moment where i use druid sub farm but it could be the end of the series right here because this guy i think is number top like top 15 in the world right now so Oh man, at least we have the strategy, you know, at least we have the strategy ready to be used for a situation like this. Start off with my druid right here, of course. We'll do the exact same thing, I'm guessing. Yep, there's their druid. Put on last, druid reach. All right, heart of vengeance. Nice, nice, nice. 
Oh man, I am a bit nervous now. Series could end at a seven win streak, which is what we currently have, I think. Yeah, I just gotta focus up here, gotta focus up. Put up my Oban right there. Perfect, all right, all right. And we are vibing. Now I'm gonna be max equal here early, I think it's the best plan of action. Max equal here early. They got their Oban actually all the way at the top there. I don't know about that spot. Because then you can't throw your you can't throw your trees very far back later in the game, you know what I'm saying? My spot, you can throw the trees all the way back there. So I feel like my spot's better, but I don't know. Who is to? I guess they have their oh, they have their um, what's it called? Totem placed at the very start. So I guess that could maybe be better with their spot. Because totem places on close next to the open, basically. That's how the totem works. Get my farm down. Send them some spaced uh, pink balloons here. Should force some nice leakage. I think we forced a um druid upgrade there, which is nice. Hard thorns, I'm guessing. My Druid of Wrath here in a second. Alright, they got their Druid of Wrath as well. Fair enough. We should be fine against these uh, White Balloons for a little bit. I might have to get Hard Thorns on my um, Druid, but I think I'm going to go for a farm first before I go for Hard Thorns. Because I'm greedy. And now we'll go for Hard Thorns on my Druid. Perfect. Perfecto. And now we'll send the Black Balloons. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So they do have a life advantage. They actually... But they still have, don't have their Dru Max Druid buff, but... Yeah, they have a life advantage, so well done there. Um, I think my targeting early game was just a little bit off, that's why. Don't know whose um, Oban placement's better. I've never really seen people place it there, to be honest. I haven't seen many people place it at their spot. Keep farming on here, you already know, ladies and gentlemen. Greater production, great, great, great. Keep throwing on those brambles. I think we can save up for banana plantation, and then after that we need to, um, can't farm anymore, and then we have to just prepare for like round 11 defenses and all that stuff. That'll be coming up, you know what I'm saying? So. I think Banana Plantation is the next stop in the road, though. Get Lightning here. Okay, we'll get the exact same defense they're getting here. We'll send them a bit of a rush next round. Okay, we force their Ballistic. I think I'll stop at 800 Eco here. Yeah, 800 Eco is fine enough with me here. 800 Eco is good enough me. Get up my marketplace. Keep farming. They're actually equaling more. I don't know if that's good on this map. Because we're anti-stalling fully, you know? So, I feel like they're equaling too much. I don't know, though. I don't know. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Plenty of times. How much do you sell for? 9,000. So, if I have $7,000 on hand, I can upgrade to a... um research facility. I think I might go to 11,500 just so I have one to sell though and get up my just sell one of these. You get my research facility that way. I think it's a better plan of action. Save up to 11,500 here. They rush with moabs. I have some anti-moab brambles on the map which is nice. Get that up. Beautiful. We'll boost this. Oh, oops. I think he's gonna re-rush me. Should be fine against that. Yep, we're good there. They spent a lot of money rushing me there. They spent a lot of money rushing me. Which is good for me. How much do you sell for? About 5,500, so I need... 7,500 on hand, maybe? Yeah, 7,500 on hand. Yeah. We're good there. Oh man, they're, they're throwing, they're throwing. All right, let's see if they rush me. I think I defend this without um selling my banana research facility here. Yeah, we're good here. We're good. That's a GG. That's a GG, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man. Let's go! We won! We lost our Druid Sub Farm loadout, but we won all of our games in the video, and we should be on an eight win streak here. So if you guys enjoy, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button down below. Without further ado, Ram Like Out, peace out.